Hi everyone. Today I am sharing with you my um, 10 Christmas cards on the 10th. This is a monthly collab that I am with uh, Metal Scrapping Chick, who is the originator here, and 19 other beautiful ladies. Um, and what the purpose of this collab is, is to create at least 10 Christmas cards every month. So by the end of the year, you have more than enough to send out to family, friends, um, and so on. So this time around, I wanted to um, experiment with my coloring. I don't feel like I use my alcohol markers a lot. So what I used was um, this, um, it says Cottage for All Seasons. Again, this is something that came out of one of my magazines. And I used the cottage um, stamp along with the die. I did use the snowman, which is there with the die. And I used the trees, these two size trees here and here, as well as the road. And I created a little scene. So I used that. For my sentiment, I did use this one here that says Merry Christmas. And this is from Recollections, uh, one of their holiday ones a couple of years ago. So I did use that. I did use my Spectrum Noir glitter pen as well as my Jelly Roll pen. I did use some washi tape um, to mask off some areas. And then for my trees, I did use these new classic Spectrum Noir um, alcohol markers in two shades of green. For my cottage, I used these two in two shades of brown. It really looks brown, but in the camera it's coming out yellow, but it's like a beige. For my road, I used some light grays. And for my snowman's um, scarf, just a classic red. So that's everything that I used um, to create these 10 cards. Now my cards are all identical. Um, I do like to create multiples of a card. Um, so this way I have extras of certain designs. Oh, and I also use this mix here uh, from a little sparkle and shine. And here is the cards. So I did create 10. So let me just lay them out and then I can show you one in detail. So it is an A2 size card. I did um, use 110 pound um, card stock for my base. Um, my first layer is a silver uh, foil paper from Recollections. Um, I used the masking tape across um, so what I did was I, and you can see the line right there, I ink blended my sky using faded jeans very lightly. And I like the little white patches there. Then I stamped my trees um, after I uh, ink blended the background. So it kind of gave me the difference between the sky and the ground. This is actually popped up on the mention, so you can see that I did um, color the house and I did glimmer, add sparkle to where the snow would be as well as the snowman. Um, once I kind of figured out where I wanted my house to be, then I laid out the brick road. The brick road actually goes underneath the sentiment as well as under the house. And I used my white um, jelly roll pen to make it seem like there's snow on the trees. I did ink splatter, but it got lost within the blue and especially the white, but you can see to give it like that effect, like there was snow falling. You can see some of them on the trees, but more in the house. And then I used those iridescent um, mix and I just put some stars there, some big ones, some little ones that are iridescent. They look kind of purplish here, but I don't think it's cute and I added my snowman there and then stamped out Merry Christmas and also backed that up on some silver foil paper. I prefer to leave my cards blank on the inside, but um, I had a lot of fun doing this design. Um, 
And again, I don't use my markers that often. And um, I thought this was a great opportunity to get back into the rhythm of it and practice on my shading and hopefully get better at it. So that's it, guys. Those are my 10 Christmas cards on the 10th. Again, this is a, a collab with Metal Scrapping Chick and 19 other beautiful crafters. Be sure to check my link down below. Hop along, see what Christmas cards they created this month. As always, I thank you for watching. Stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay safe. And I'll see you real, real soon. Bye.